Okay, now let's talk about YouTube software needed. Okay, we understand the hardware that you need as equipment that you need to buy a microphone first and you don't need to concentrate on anything else. But what about the YouTube software? There are quite a lot of software you might need to use, but let's just categorize them and I will give you clear understanding what type of software you need to use as a beginner YouTuber. And in most case scenarios, the software that I will be talking right now will go with you from the very beginning till the very end. You don't need to change them or upgrade them at least as often as you might think, but I will give you a clear understanding what type of software you will be working with. So first let's go through again through the types of software that you will be using. You got, you'll be using mainly four different types of software for your YouTube channel. First the screen recorder, which basically records your screen or whatever, whatever you're doing on your computer. Next is audio recorder slash editor, which will record your voice or your audio. Uh, if you're doing a voiceovers, etc., etc., we're gonna talk about this, of course, in the future videos. Next is video editor. Well, the thing that you will edit your videos in. And last is the photo editor. It's basically for the creation of your thumbnails, of your logos, of your banners, everything that is uh, that is not video, and then it's visual. Basically, everything that is photo. Let's just talk about them one by one in higher details. Let's talk talk about screen recorders first. So, screen recorder is well, basically, how you record your screen it will be your, on your computer or if it will be on your phone. So you can use a native screen recorder on your phone. Like many majority of the Androids and iOS systems are actually uh, do actually have a native screen recorder. So you don't need to go and just purchase uh, screen recorders for yourself. Or you could use like a, a bunch of different screen recording softwares on your Android. iOS, I know what it have in the native ones, but some Android phones do not have a native screen recorders, mainly the older versions. And you can use like AZ screen recorder or a bunch of different screen recorders uh, for your phone. Just experiment with it, find a different software. Like I myself on Android use AZ screen recorder. It's like A and Z letters and then screen recorder. You can just go and use it for Andro Android. And for a PC, like the f the cheapest and the best so usage scenario and the uses yeah, and software is OBS Studio. Like this is the logo of OBS Studio. You can go and download it. It's absolutely free. Like there is no paying part. It's absolutely free, and it is the most powerful screen recording software that you can find. I'm using it myself at the moment to record my screen and my voice at the same time. It is very very, very, very powerful software to use. You can actually use as, uh, OBS Studio as an audio recorder as well, if you wish to do so. And it is very, very powerful. Like OBS Studio will be your best friend if you are using, a if you want to use screen recorder pretty, pretty often. The next is audio recorder. Yeah, it, it is not as often used for the many people, but I highly suggest you to get familiar, at least like in a very, very basic level, level with uh, the audio recorders and editors, because in you will understand that recording your audio separately in the future will be a great best thing that you will do. Like record your audio separately from your video and like in separate microphone, uh, it will be very, very simple to do. Don't concentrate on this too much right now, but just know that you will need this in the future. Uh, and audio recording is of course use, uh, you can use it to uh, use microphone to record voice and voiceovers. We're gonna talk about the voiceovers of course in the future uh, lectures. And there are actually two softwares that you can concentrate on. One is Audacity, which is free and probably the best thing that you can have uh, at the beginning and next is Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is a bit more complicated and a bit more powerful software and it is part of uh, Adobe Creative Cloud. If you are subscribed to Adobe Creative Cloud, you can use Adobe, Adobe Audition. It's better than Audacity. It's way better, but it's a bit more complicated. So I highly suggest you to go with Audacity. It's absolutely free to use. There is no, There are no paying parts and you can just use it to record your voice. That's it. It's very, very simple to use. Very, very straightforward. Uh, Audition is, again, paid one. It's a subscription fee. It's a monthly payment. And yeah, you can choose whatever you want and just start learning whatever you, whichever you want. Again, I highly suggest to start with Audacity. Next is video recorder, video editor, I mean. Of course, yeah, this is the probably one of the most important parts of the you know, YouTuber's 
uh, workflow and you need to choose your video editor editor wisely. So here are some uh, video editing software that I'm giving you to use. Uh, it's You can both edit your videos on your computer and, and on your phone slash tablet. It doesn't matter, you can have a pretty high quality videos uh, on both. When you will be advanced and you will want to have a very, very high quality and a lot of different tracks and a lot of different uh, transitions and advanced transitions, etc., etc., of course, you will want to go to the computer. But at the very beginning, like phones and computers will have very, very similar quality of video editing. So uh, let's start with uh, the Mac. So in for the Mac, you can use an iMovie, which is free and very simple to use, or Final Cut. Final Cut is... Of course, very, very advanced video editing software. And yeah, it's paid. It's pretty expensive. I would not suggest you to go for the final cut at the very, very beginning because it's pretty expensive software. It's a few hundred dollars at least. So yeah, I would highly suggest to concentrate on iMovie. For the Windows or the, for, for the PC, there are two options that I would suggest. It's first is DaVinci Resolve and second is Adobe Premiere. So DaVinci Resolve is free to use. There's, of course, paid version of uh, DaVinci Resolve. It's called DaVinci Resolve Studio. It costs, I think, uh, $300 or $200. I'm not uh, sure. And it is very, very powerful video editing software. I, I highly suggest you to learn DaVinci Resolve. I really, really love it. But a lot of uh, editors are still using Adobe Premiere and thinking that Adobe Premiere is still very powerful. I've been using both DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere. And in my opinion, DaVinci Resolve is a bit better uh, when you're getting a bit more advanced because it is giving you the best color grading options available ever everywhere and plus it has some motion graphics ability as well uh, that uh, Adobe Premiere lacks so yeah you can choose either or, or another one you whatever you want DaVinci Resolve again is free it has some paid functions that you will not need at the very beginning like I Trust me, you will not need some of these paid functions at the very beginning. And Adobe Premiere is paid part of Adobe Creative Cloud and has a subscription fee to pay. DaVinci Resolve is one-time fee if you decide to buy DaVinci Resolve Studio. But again, I don't suggest you to buy DaVinci Resolve Studio, at least in the very beginning. For iOS, there are two options that you can go with. Is One is Adobe Premiere Rush, which is a free option. And uh, another one is LumaFusion, which is a paid option. I highly, highly, highly suggest you to go with the Luma Fusion. Despite it's being a paid option, it only costs uh, either twenty or thirty dollars. I don't know exactly. This is the uh, software that I use myself. It is great software. It is a full-on uh, video editing software, or maybe on par with the Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. It's not as advanced, of course, but it's pretty, pretty close. And it is very, very good software for like tenth of the price of the each and each, each and every one of them. And it's only one time fee. And you can use it both on your iPhone and on your iPad, which is very, very, very powerful software. And I highly suggest you to go to the Lumo Fusion. But again, if you don't want to pay any money, Adobe Premiere Rush will be very good option as well. For Android, we don't have a lot of great options. So the only option that you can go with is KineMaster. It is free, uh, and but it has a watermark, so you can go and uh, buy uh, the pay one-time fee. I don't remember exactly because I don't edit on Android. And just pay one-time fee and have your watermark removed. So last software that you will need, but not least, is of course Photo Editor, which will allow you to create the channel art, the logos, the thumbnails, etc., 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 so uh, we talked about Canva, uh, which is free software slash service that you could use. Uh, Canva is actually available for uh, well, web. Basically, it's for both PC and Mac and available as a separate software for Android and iOS. So basically, you can edit whatever you want everywhere at the same time. So whatever you want, you can do it 100%. And I highly suggest Canva for the beginners. So uh, you would a bit get more familiar with uh, the editing, for the photo editing, because it's very, very simple thing to do and highly suggest you to go with Canva. It's very straightforward, very quick, and very nice to use. So if you are a bit more advanced, then I would go with uh, Adobe Photoshop, which is paid option for Mac and PC. Uh, don't go with the Photoshop versions of the uh, phones and tablets. They, yeah, they, they suck. They're not very good. 
only concentrate on the Mac and PC if you want to go with Photoshop. Again, Photoshop is very, very high grade and high quality photo editing software. Uh, you can go, of course, with Adobe Illustrator as well. If you want to go with the uh, like vector graphics, etc., etc. But yeah, Photoshop is the best option to choose, uh, the paid option to go with. If you are on iPad, uh, in my case, that I use myself, Affinity Photo is the great, great, great option. Very, very close to Photoshop and very, very close to the desktop class photo editing software on your iPad. So this was uh, all of the software that you will need. You can choose whatever you want. I will highly suggest to go with the free options of each and every uh, type of uh, software and then you can switch to the paid ones if when you think that uh, the free options is not enough for you and you think that they are restrictive and you want to do more. So this will be it for today. Let's go to the next one.